Williams. Uh, hello, regular viewers to me. Thank you very much. Hello, people who may have just joined to uh, sling shit at me. It's all right. I don't mind. You do it. If it makes you feel better, you know, have that adrenaline rush, have that dopamine rush. They're all good. Maybe one day you'll feel like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Mm. I don't. Look, I'm wrinkly. I'm old. I don't care. I haven't had enough sleep. I haven't had enough. Shit, look at my hand. <laughs> there is nothing you can say to me to degrade me that I don't already do. So there's that. Um, one of the things I just, I'm not going to talk about Nick and Jason now. I might do that later. I don't care. I was, too much is too much. Uh, too much diving. There's so many creators already done this. But what I wanted to say was, um, I've recently. Oh, I've got a really crappy lampshade growing out of my hair. Look at that. Um, I recently wanted. I recently saw a story about um, women only gyms, and. I don't know. I, I feel really uncomfortable about this. If you're a regular viewer to this, um, my channel, you'll know that I'm non-binary. And um, I'm going to get some cr crappy comments down below because, you know, uh, just like, yeah, pretending to be something you want to Right, whatever. I don't care. Um, I grew up with um, various ignorant laws and things and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna mention something about the don't say gay bill in section 28 because they got a lot in common but I'll leave that for another video because what I wanted to talk to you about now is like women only gyms now I can kind of see what they're getting to as I, I've never been hassled by men in a male gym and I've never been hassled by women but the thing is it doesn't I don't fit into either category, and I, I knew this from like when I was a kid. I mean, I think that's one of my major problems with Section 28, the Don't Say Gay Bill, but I digress. I just go into a, a gym, and there's either sweaty blokes in there being like all testosterone, or there's like really, you know, Instagram friendly, gorgeous birds in there, and, and, um, I mean, even my sister, she she posts things on social media about, look at me, I can do all this running and things like that. Well, I can't because I've got a dodgy knee. I've take, had the cartridge taken out of it, so I can't do running anyway. Um, and I have, you know, I don't have great physical coordination. So there's a lot of things that, that I can't do, and it doesn't matter whether I'm a men's gym or a women's gym. I want to look bloody awkward but the thing is I have been to gyms before I, I, I went on a huge massive gym binge um, when I used to live in Hawley and a gym opened up near to me and as an incentive to get people in um, they offered a um, quite a nice mountain bike for as, as many um, hours of cardio you could put in now I was freelance and I didn't actually have any work at the time, so I thought, okay, you know, I bought this gym membership that they had a nice swimming pool as well. So I thought, I'm just going to go down there and I'm going to work my fucking ass off and get this bike. Um, and I did. And I was so pleased. And um, one of the things was like, I hadn't lost any weight. I was still a, a fucking walrus. <laughs> I was so disappointed. I really don't know what kind of work, uh, workout to do that's going to make me better. Apart from just fucking starving myself. But I was I was really aware that every time I went to the gym and worked out, there were pretty girls that kind of looked down on you. And there were men who were you know, super muscly and also look down on you. So, if you're non-binary like I am, sorry, I don't want to be all, like, political, but that's the way I feel and that's the way I've always felt and, like, um, you know, I've got... I can relate to things now and 
you know it's a bit of a shame that you don't see more non-binary older people on the internet but we've been living under a cloud for so many years i mean i didn't even know i had adhd until i got diagnosed you know my 20 days whatever so give us a break okay um if you're older you don't necessarily mean this shit doesn't exist um because like i said i've had this battle with people recognizing the adhd existed and then i've got another battle that recognizes that non-binary exists although i have always felt this and thank you very much um you know everybody out there for for saying yes you are valid this does exist but it does mean that I can't go into a gym, whether it's women only or a mixed gym or wherever, without feeling really awkward because I don't feel like I'm like I want to I want to build up my muscles. But every time I go into an area where there's men, they always call me like girl or sweetheart or dear or something like that, which I mean, even when I went to my GP recently and he said, good girl, I'm like, mate, you're 36 or something. You, you're younger than me when they're calling me good girl. Stop being so fucking patronising. So that's why I don't really want to get a, um, I, I would really like to have a, um, you know, a trainer that makes me, I, I want to have upper body strength. I want to do climbing again. I used to love rock climbing. I just want to be better and I just don't want to be so flabby and shit but I, I don't honestly know where to fit in um I did I did I know that like there is one LGBTQ um trainer in Gloucester but even he's like he's very gay and I can just see him like having loads of buff guys in there and I walk in and and I'm gonna feel like really really odd because and i think there's um there's a thing uh, that's been um exposed recently about bigorexia which is about men getting muscles and there's another thing about you know there's women who have eating disorders and get want to get slim but there's nothing in between one of the things i, I really liked watching actually was savvy Wright's books because they um they want to be muscular like a, a bloke and they can't go into a gym and get the right workout they can't go on a line and get the right advice for that and i was just thinking isn't it time that we we just did away with this women want to be thin and sexy and all of this and men want to be like roid bulk to out you know um it's it's like i do think that even going back centuries ago there were there were people in cultures that recognized that you 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 aren't going to be like a massive bulky man man and you're not going to be like a feminine girly girl there are going to be other things in between you know like two spirits and loads of things like that and I, and I just think, well, can we can we not have that in gyms? Can we not have this, like, don't have a segregation of you're a girl, so you want to lose weight, or you're a bloke, so you want to put on muscle. And can we just, like, I, I, you know, if I found a personal trainer now, I don't think they, frankly, I don't think they'd know what to do with me. I would I would really love to find a personal trainer and say, look, I'm going to be honest with you, personal trainer guy, okay? I want to build up my shoulders and arms so I can go rock climbing again. Um, I want to build up my physique because I'm 50 and, you know, I want, I want to improve my balance and things like that, which I don't really have great. Um, I want to flatten my chest because I don't feel great about having booby boobs you know and having this kind of like flabby girly body you know it's gender dysphoria but nobody ever talks about gender dysphoria people who are older than me because it's like kids and 
you know, I don't, I wouldn't even know where to begin with the clinic. I mean, you can't, like, I can't, I can't do anything about it now. But women own, women only gyms and men only gyms. Where does that leave people who don't fall in between? Sorry, who do fall in between. Don't fall in between. Who do fall in between. I really don't know what I'd like. Come on. You know, I mean, even, even mixed sex gyms, you go in there and there's, you can feel really intimidated. Like I said, there's always some muscly, sweaty guy in the corner and there's always some, like, svelte, gorgeous, Instagram lovely, and, and you know, on the bikes. And then, you know, but there's no fat people because fat, because fat people are too ashamed to go there because they go in, I mean, believe me, I'm not even fat, but I've, I've gone into gyms before and I've looked at people and I'm thinking... I just feel I feel like disgusting walrus, you know. So it's I don't think it should necessarily be women only. I think maybe it should be. I mean, they have swimming. This is something that happened. This is something that developed years ago. They had over fifty swimming classes, and I think that's great because women's bodies, or actually anybody's you know male female or where it is they don't look great and if you come out of a changing room or if you're even if you're in the changing room and there's other people around you that look toned and fabulous and sort of um as as that gender should be um you know if you're assigned female at birth you should have this body if you're assigned male at birth you should have this body um anyone who doesn't conform to that kind of like bodily structure and you go into a changing room for a gym or swimming or anything like that it's quite often you're just going to feel really gross and i've had to change in, in in toilet cubicles because i just it wasn't necessary that I was fat um and i can imagine that there are probably fat fat people out there that, that do this because they just feel so disgusting. But I just didn't feel like... I mean, even putting on a swimsuit, I just, like... I couldn't find a swimsuit that... I wanted... You know, in an ideal world, if I was going to go swimming, I'd just wear a pair of shorts like a bloke. And yet, you put on a swimming costume, you can't get a swimming costume that is gender neutral um I, I i wanted to cover my legs because i don't like my thighs um and probably as i'm getting older my thighs are going to be even more sort of like wrinkly and disgusting anyway so it, it's kind of like gender dysphoria and age as well so you know i want to have something that like covers my th like shorts and like a t-shirt or something like a, a like a crop top or something like that because you know you're not allowed to show your boobs in private and public and even if i had like breast reduction surgery i would still have boobs and, and that's that's not on the cards for me anyway i mean i do wish it was but it's not so you know i don't i didn't grow up in an age where this kind of medicalized thing was available so it's very I'm very body conscious of going into the gym or going swimming. Like people are going to see me as a girl. Even when I go to work, they see me as a girl. Even wearing something like it's just a stripy chop top and that. And you know, I go, I work with families, and they say, oh, "This nice lady," and I'm like, "Ew," because I don't feel like a lady. So going into a gym where it's like you're either like beautiful girl or muscly man and you're nowhere, you know, there is no in between. And now I'm, I'm reading about women only gyms because they want, you know, because they feel like they're um, they're being intimidated by men. But what about the people who be, feel intimidated by men and women? What about the people who just don't fit in? And I don't think there's really anything that's been said about that. Um, 
I'd love to have it like a gender fluid gym. I'd love to be able to go in somewhere where the men aren't trying to intimidate you and the women equally aren't trying to intimidate you because women do do that. They do might do it more subtly, but they do do that. Um, and even just being in the presence of, you know, a binary figure um, in the gym is, is really horrible, actually. And... Um, you know, it's, it's like, I, I want to talk out to, to, to young people about this because I'm sure that they've got lots to say about this. Um, and I've had to kind of like put it aside for years and years because, like I said, this wasn't talked about. It's, it's a bit like people who were gay before it was um, decriminalised. I feel like that. And I really want to talk to other like non-binary people and say, how do you cope with being in the gym? Because... I honestly, I feel really intimidated and I really, I know I need to go to the gym. I know I need to get fit. I really want to build up my upper body strength and I just want to feel better because I'm in my 50s and I know this is going to have a long term effect on, on my health if I went and did something like that. But I, I just feel really like I don't belong in any gym spaces. So if you're, uh, if you're non-binary and you feel really weird in gym places places <coughs> oh my tongue's really white Ew. that's disgusting i am really i am really quite unfit at the moment that's it, that's it. Mm. yeah i'm not doing great i really am not gonna I, I want to get better um but i just like i said i feel intimidated so um and also being like disabled in a kind of like mentally way and uh, mentally way not being able to go like go out and cycle because you know I fucking fall off bikes and shit like that and uh, I bought a trike thinking I could ride it around and um it been adapted to be electric trike and then uh, and, and it didn't have a an electric motor so the gears were all out of fucking whack and like I feel like I'm I'm, I'm absolutely you know I don't know what to do about my health. I don't know what to do about my fitness. And I want to do something. Um, but I, I don't know what to do about it. Um, I'm facing a lot of hurdles. And maybe people think they've made up hurdles. Um, but believe me. I've had, I've had enough discussions with various professionals and things. To know that it's not made up hurdles. Um, I mean there's, there was even a thing in the BBC. About the amount of disabled people that have had to go to court and um you know fight the uh, department of work and pensions and that's a whole nother story um i'm not I'd, i've always been really concerned that i'm going to come on the net and display myself as a victim no i've got a lot of good things going for me all right you know i've got a roof over my head along with this but uh, my mum used my mum and dad used to say to me you know oh, at least you've got a roof over my head while they were like bringing the shit up me but so i don't know i've got a very com i've got a very complicated uh relationship with the word privilege so there it is and also i don't know what happened the first three years of my life um i get lots of um different stories so you know um there might be some developmental disorders that i was born with and some that um came about as a child like childhood neglect but i'm 51 and nobody is ever going to tell me the truth about that so you know i've got a lot of issues and um maybe maybe i mean i've had loads of therapy as well so, but that's not going to change the fact that when i go to the gym i'm just going to feel like a complete outsider even even in primary school i i didn't identify with girls or boys i didn't really like <sighs> it's really really hard to describe but I think I think there may, needs to be a more maybe a, sorry a less um, binarized approach to people's health in gyms and things like that. And like a, like I said, um, Savvy Rights Books has got a really good video about this. Um, it's it's not a question of women only gyms. It's not a question of men only gyms. It's not a question because, 
like I said, you could you could go into one or another and you can still be equally intimidated. So where does that leave people who are in between? I really don't know. Anyway, um so anyway that's 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 it for now. Um I'm gonna make another video about ADHD and I'm gonna make one about um the don't say gay bill. And I, I wanna apologise for anyone who thinks that I'm being politically correct. I just I just I just growing up just accepting people for what they are. If they're our souls, they're our souls. Doesn't matter what their sexuality, um, their age, their gender, identity, whatever. You know, there's nice people and there's bad people and um there's bullies and there's kindness and if I come across bullies I'm afraid I'm gonna put you in the bin <laughs> because that's that's what I am. I can't be arsed anymore. Um but, you know, actually, I'm, I'm very uh, self-aware of how I look, how I, you know, I look like I look like a wrinkled old potato. I don't care. You can take the piss out of the way I look. I really don't care. I know I'm ugly, right? I grew up, I grew up ugly and um, fat and I had glasses and I didn't look like the older girls and so fine. You know, throw it at me. It's nothing I haven't heard before, so be original. I don't care. So that's it then. Um, Hello beans. If um, uh, I I, I want to start a Patreon for for the people who've um, been following me regularly and have commented and um, like I said, my ch my channel isn't just about ADHD. It's it's a commentary channel. Um, I apologise if there's anyone who came to me thinking it was going to be just about ADHD. But the thing is, there are a lot of people with ADHD who have other things as well. Like there's no offence with ADHD and um he's trans man and then there's um the dad challenge podcast josh who's got adhd and he's quite conservative and religious so um it's you can't kind of just say adhd is a certain type of person i've also um one of my adhd counselors uh was really into jordan peterson and you know, some of you guys are going to think that Jordan Peterson is the, you know, the dog's globes. Um, and other people are going to think that he's a complete arsehole. So, uh, I am, I'm researching into this. I, I'm, I'm kind of looking into, I'm, I want to, I want to approach things the way the service is. I want to kind of like look at the goods and bads of things, but. I think one of the things that really worries me at the moment is that um, Russell Howard, who's kind of like a left-leaning um, British comedian, has um, platformed Jordan Peterson. I, I don't even know whether he knows that Jordan Peterson is problematic or whether this is part of the um, the BBC's remit of being even-handed. Um, now, a lot of people say the BBC is transphobic, um, I've been following the BBC for years and there are some very trans positive stories in that it's it's just that as as journalism has got so open now you can just write in with your own stories and people just take that as you know as fact I could I could write in and say yeah this has happened to me and this is like a systematic thing and whatever it is and um, maybe it is. I mean, I've got a lot of stories to tell about like disability and um, gender issues and things like that. But it's not really going to make much difference because A, I'm not famous. B, I'm not pretty. Um, C, I'm not young. And D, nobody knows about me and doesn't really give a fuck. So I get onto this platform and I just say things as they were when I was growing up and as they are now. But this video is basically about, um, can we please make gyms uh, a little bit more non-binary friendly? That'd be, that'd be great. You know, it's, um, you know, there must be so many people who identify as not, not girly girly and not blokey blokey who just want to go in there and like get fit and, you know, what, what pursue their goals and, and they don't do it and then they end up with health problems and, limited mobility and limited strength because they feel like they're left out so that's that's what this video is really um just a plea to um 
the uh, gym and keep fit community and the, you know um the bodybuild community can you can you please just like be a little bit more flexible and how you approach people and their goals because yeah there might be certain characteristics that they've had people have and aim at people and we could go into whole transport things as well but i'm random pausal so i don't really have that much um female you know um hormones anyway um but because i'm 50 51 I want to get fit and I, I really would like to have some muscle. I, I I accept that maybe it's not going to be great, but I don't want to end up like osteoporosis. I don't want to end up in a, in a, in a mobility scooter. And I want to go back to some of the sports that I used to enjoy, like climb, rock climbing and things like that. And just, just to be able to like walk around the garden and do exercise without feeling pathetic. So there needs to be a lot more flexibility in the gym culture. That's all I'm saying. Right, uh, that's it now, and um, thank you for watching this and indulging me. Um, please leave a comment down below. Um, I appreciate it, whether they're going to take the piss out of me or not. I don't care. It's good fun. Um, you know, I don't get paid to do this because, so, you know, it doesn't matter really what, what anyone says. <laughs> um, oh, fine. Uh, yeah, I did cut my own hair. Because I didn't want to um, go to the barbers without a, uh, you know, they don't like me um, not wearing a mask. And I don't like wearing a mask. And there's a whole new issue about that. But I've got a sinus infection and I haven't managed to get rid of it. So I can't breathe properly. So if I put a mask on, I basically feel like somebody's pushing me out of the water. So I'd rather not go there because I don't want them to feel uncomfortable so I'd rather cut my own hair so yes I know it looks crap that's why my life has always been about trying to negotiate how society works how not to upset people so in order to not upset people I just don't go and see people you know sad but that is I don't but I don't want to I don't want to happen with gym the gym I don't want to happen that that to happen with swimming um, I don't want that to happen with anybody of any age. Um, and, and, um, yeah, this, this whole emphasis on women only spaces is, it's like, how do you justify what is a woman? It's like, it's right. You know, there are a lot of more female presenting people than me who are trans women. So, what happens then you know they go in they, uh, the gym and they work out and nobody know any difference and i go in the gym and work out and people look at me like a bit weird and and i still get called girl and love and like i say i am 51 and i don't like being called girl love is okay you know because some guys even get called love so but i don't want to be a snowflake i don't want that to upset me i don't want to go out in public with this rage and 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 defiance and no possibly sabotage my whole social life because of this you know issue that i've got i don't i don't want it to be like that but at the same time i do feel uncomfortable in places and it's 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 not a i don't think it's a me thing i think it's i don't know maybe it is a me thing i've had so much therapy that i don't know whether it's a me thing or not, but I do know that there are people on Facebook, on YouTube and on other channels, and they realise it's not a me thing. It's not that I am being self-indulgent or, um, you know, hysterical or whatever it is. It is genuinely that my identity does not fit into really constrained categories of society so yeah um that's it really uh if you're running a gym and you're listening to this or watching this can you please maybe just try and don't think about it as terms of men and women um 
we're living in 2022 now I'd like to think that there are areas that you can go to now where you don't feel un I was going to say unsafe I mean unsafe is just such a weird word so unintimidated um and a lot of people like to say with the word safe and unsafe I mean, I, I felt safe walking around the you know the streets of London at night. You know, just like I didn't even look like a woman. Though. I felt safe, but it's it is a question of feeling driven out. So maybe not safe, maybe not unsafe, maybe intimidated, maybe not intimidated, but just excluded, um, and that's bad enough, really. Um, if you you know if you feel excluded you just want to go home and bury your head under the duvet and never want to go out again i, I don't want that to happen to anybody um it doesn't happen to me but i don't really want that to happen to anybody else as well um so yeah let's let's just make um places more inclusive where you can do positive things to improve your health and uh, your well-being and um yeah great Right, well that's it now. Bloody hell, it's thirty-one ten, and I've just been prattling along, prattling along like a prat, prattling like a prat. Right, that's it then. Man out. Um, take yourselves. Bye.